Welcome to the God Squad, a podcast you can believe in. I'm Rabbi Mark Gelman. God is not through with you here. There's an old saying of the Maasai tribe in Africa that strangely is also found in the post-biblical work of Jewish law called the Talmud. There was, a, I guess, maybe a Maasai deli where they talk to each other. But it's the same teaching, and it's this. Sticks in a bundle are unbreakable, but sticks alone can be broken by a child. It's kind of weird to say that one guy can be a squad, But it wasn't always like this. From 1987 until his death on February 16th, 2016, of Parkinson's disease, may God receive his soul. Father Tom Hartman, Tommy to me, was the other half of the God Squad. We were uh, the religion correspondents for Good Morning America. We were regulars on the Imus show. And... We did a lot of work together, all for one purpose and with one mission. It was really our only, the only thing that tied one lecture to to the next of all the speeches we gave over those 25, 30 years. And that was that we know enough about how we're different, but we don't know enough yet about how we're all the same. That's the purpose of this podcast, to remind us, all of us, of how we're the same, of how we go through the same things in life. We have the same general fears and hopes. This is a place of theology, hope, inspiration, and bundling. Yes, that's it mainly, bundling. You understand that. You take a stick, a pencil, and it's easy to break it, but you take five, ten pencils and hold them together, you you can't break them because they're bundled. That's what the God Squad podcast is. It's a bundling effort in a divided world. So Tommy's been gone for five years, and I kind of got a message from him. We'll talk about that in another podcast. But he said, look, Mark, you've mourned me long enough. Time to get back to work on the God Squad. So that's what I'm doing, and that's what we'll be doing together. But I can't do that without explaining to those of you who didn't know Tommy just who he was and how we met. It's an amazing story. So Passover and Easter were on the same day back in 1987, and I got a request to go on News 12 Long Island to talk about similarities and differences between Passover and Easter. And I wasn't thrilled to do it, but I got booked on the show anyway by my secretary, Kay, and she thought it would be good to have a rabbi and a priest on TV together. It was really her idea. So I show up, and there's Tom Hartman, burned out from a day of a million masses on Easter, feet up on a desk, his collar undone. And he looked sort of like Robert Redford. He was a good-looking guy. And he looked up at me, he had blue eyes, and he had a wonderful smile. He said, oh, you must be Gelman. I said, yeah, you must be Hartman. Nice to meet you. So we go on air for two minutes, and the news lady asks me, So, Rabbi, what is the difference between Passover and Easter? And I was just not into it. So I just said to her, look, it comes down to this. There's no chocolate bunnies in Passover, and there's no horseradish in Easter. (laughs) So Tommy kicks me under the table. It turns out, by the way, there is horseradish in in Eastern rites in, in Easter. They eat it with the ham, I guess. But anyway, that's what I said. And and then she was happy to get rid of us, and we were happy to be gotten rid of. 
two hours later in the parking lot, we're still talking. And I said to Tommy, look, I, I, you seem like a really nice guy, but I don't think I'm going to see you again because I have to go home and call Florida. I was offered a big synagogue down there, the chief rabbi position of a large synagogue. It's There's a school I get to teach kids, which I love to do. And the people who owned the Doral Country Club at the time, they knew I was a golfer. They were they put my name on a locker already. And he said, oh, that's interesting. When did they offer you this job? And I said, oh, several weeks ago, actually. And he said, but you didn't accept it right away, and it's a no-brainer. I said, yeah, it is a no-brainer, and yeah, I didn't accept it right away. I don't know why. And Tommy looked at me and said, well, I know why. You see, Mark, I had a dream last night. And in the dream, God came to me and said, tomorrow you're going to meet somebody. I love him, and I want you to tell him this. I'm not through with you here. And the hair stood up on my arm. I, I was just overwhelmed. I said, okay, Tommy, you got to be straight with me here. Do, do you dream messages from God all the time? <laughs> He said, no, never. I said, do you ruin a person's life who you've only known for an hour? Do you do that normally? He said, no. But I got, I had this dream, and that's what it is. God's not through with you here. You're not going to Florida. So I uh, don't know what moved me. Maybe it was the certainty that I had just gotten a message from the boss. Not sure. But I opened my flip phone, that's what we had at the time, called Florida, and I said, look, I'm not coming. And they said, what? Why not? And I said, well, I just got a message from an angel that God is not through with me here. <laughs> they said, well, Rabbi Gilman, frankly, we're happy you turned us down because you need psychiatric help, <laughs> and you need it now. So good luck and goodbye. And that was it with them. And I said, okay, Tommy, you've now ruined my life and my career options. So what do we do now? And he said, well, I know the guys at ABC. We'll go down there tomorrow and they'll hire us. And, you know, because they have lawyers doing legal news and, and, and doctors doing medical news. So, but they don't have clergymen doing uh, religious news. So maybe we could be a team, like a, a squad, a God squad. And that's how the name came out. And ABC hired us. But they did say to me, now, Rabbi, you're going to be funny, right? <laughs> I said, well, I'll try. And, and that was our beginning. And then we did... That, we were the first clergy hired since Bishop Fulton J. Sheen, I guess. And we did our own show, and it was a wonderful run, and it was important for us to be able to show people a priest and a rabbi who had no ulterior motives. We had no foundation. We had no nothing. We, we were just there to help people. And... Uh, that's what we did, and that's who Tommy was, my best friend, and I miss him deeply. So if you knew Tommy and if you have stories about him, as I'm sure you do if you knew him, let me know. As for now, I ask you to think about your own life, and I ask you to think that God is not through with you here that there's something that God wants you to do. And you can't really move on until you do it. Because I have a feeling that the message Tommy gave to me has been given to you as well. I'm Rabbi Mark Gilman. Thanks for listening to The God Squad, a podcast you can believe in. The God Squad Podcast is a production of the Mark Gilman Institute. I know the guy. And this episode was produced by Matthew Siegel 
at Silicon Bowery. Until next time, you can find us on Google, Apple, Spotify, and many other fine podcast locations. God bless us, one and all.